don't want to hear excuses. I just want to hear your assignments read aloud in a slow and peaceful tone. You, Judge, go. Uh, my dog ate it? I know you don't have a dog. Right, sorry. Miss Caldwell? Yes, Kaylee? Can you, uh, open the door? It's kind of toasty in here. I suppose so. Jason Shepard, did you just come in from that window? No, you looked a little flushed. I was just creating a cross dress. Well, now that we're all comfortable, why don't you read us your story? You know what? Let's give someone else a chance. No, I think we'd all like to hear yours. You did do it, didn't you? Miss Caldwell, can I call you Phyllis? No. Understood. But as much as I wanted to write my paper, I mean, I really, really wanted to write my paper, I couldn't. And it's because I spent all last night in the Greenbury General Emergency Room. See, my mom made Swedish meatballs for dinner. It's my dad's favorite. And he was so excited, he accidentally swallowed one whole. It was awful. He started choking, his face turned purple, and the meatball was literally bulging out of his neck. We rushed him to the ER. I kept trying to write my paper in the waiting room, but it was too hard. I needed to be by my father's side. After all, he's the only dad I got. You are lying through your teeth, you little demon. <laughs> I wish I were, Phyllis. Call my dad if you want. His number is 555-0147. I think I will. Crazy? You're totally gonna get busted. Say Harry Shepard's office. No way, don't drag me into this. Come on, help me out. What am I supposed to do? How about write the paper? Do it. No. Do it. No! Harry Shepard's office, one moment, please. Hello. Oh, hello. Miss Caldwell. Yes, it's true. It was terrifying. I started to see the white light. I was just about to cross over to the other side when I heard the voice of an angel calling out. And when I opened my eyes, I saw my sweet, sweet Jason standing over me. And I said, back off, Grim Reaper. I ain't done living yet. And with every ounce of gas I had left in my body, I burped that meatball right across the room. And I owe it all to my son. I'm sorry, Miss Caldwell. I should stop talking now. My throat is still very sore. Thank you. Jason? I am so sorry. You just take your time handing in that assignment. 